It's time for Wisdom 31. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day to you. My name is Alan Gray, and I have the privilege of pastoring our church DMV, um, a local congregation here in the nation's capital. We invite you to participate with us online or in person. Uh, whenever you're in the nation's capital, we would love to be able to fellowship with you. But we are currently in the midst of almost smack dab in the middle of our fall semester of Wisdom 31. It's day 15, and our text is Proverbs chapter 15, verse number one, and it reads this way. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Clearly, words have power. When our infinite creator thought to himself, that to go from being concealed to revealed would be what he wanted to do. It was words that did it. Hmm. The countless attempts over the span of millenniums that man has tried to relate with God in a way that pleases him and prospers us, but it wasn't until the word was made flesh in the person of Jesus that we are given the perfect picture of both what is possible and promise. Words are thoughts explained. However, as powerful as words are, the tone and the tenor used to express them contextualizes them. If words give us context, meaning, purpose, then how you say what you say provides understanding. Wisdom tells us that communication is dynamic. If you are not getting the response you're looking for from the conversations you're having, don't just check the words you're using. Check the way you're expressing your feelings through your words. Here's the wisdom key. It's not just what we say that matters. It's how we say it. Be wise.